when I first put the GTS bike together, I built it with a Predator 224, which was a very mild build. Had a Mod 2 cam, a billet rod, just so it wouldn't fly apart, and then a cast flywheel, I think it's rated at 10,000 RPM, and then a PWK 28 millimeter and a header pipe. So I mean, a very mild build. And the bike did 64.19 miles an hour, so it's pretty good. And then after that, I swapped out the Mod 2 cam for a Paul's cart cam, just to see what it would do. And then while I was at it, I added a Tillerson 225R cylinder head. And then the bike did 69 and some change. So it gained like five miles per hour. So now, because I'm always swapping parts, testing parts, the bike has the Mod 2 cam again, but it still has the Tilson 225R cylinder head. So I've never ran the bike with the Mod 2 cam and then the 225R cylinder head. So really the only difference, well, the only difference, it's quite a difference, but the differences are, I think the port is bigger on the Predator 224 cylinder head, and then it has the slip-on retainers versus the automotive style on the Tillerson head. I'm not sure about the combustion chamber. I mean, they look similar in size. The Predator 224 has the 5.5 millimeter stems, and then the Tillerson has the five. I'm wondering if the Tillerson will flow a little better with the smaller stems, but I'm not sure because this one has a bigger port. The last time I ran this bike, it did 64.19 with the Mod 2 cam and this cylinder head. So now I'll go ahead and take it out with the uh, Mod 2 cam and the Tillerson cylinder head. And we'll see if there's any difference. I mean, everything else is the same. doesn't feel any different. I mean, it's hard to tell a difference, but I'll see what happens when I do a top speed run here. moves out pretty good. Definitely feels like it moves out pretty good. Okay, so it did 64.75, so it's not much faster, but it feels like it's got more in it. Like it's hesitating up at the top. So right now that carb's got a 120 jet in it. So I think I'm gonna put a 115 in it. Cause I know a lot of engines up here run better with a smaller jet. I'll see what that does. Yeah, so right now the carb has got a 120 in it. I know that seems about right. I mean, on a lot of them up here, they'll run with a 120 just fine, but then others run better with the 115. So I'm just gonna throw a smaller jet in it just to see what happens. All right, let's see what we have here. 
Yeah, see it looks a little bit dark actually. But a 120, so I'm gonna throw a 115 in it and see what it does. I mean at a lower elevation, a 120 probably be perfect, but up here, definitely use a smaller jet a lot of times. All right, so I'll throw a 115 back down in here and we'll see if that helps it out. Runs a lot better with a 115. a lot better with a 115 jet it's a lot more crisp up on top so with the 224 cylinder head it did 64.19 then i added the tillerson head and it did 64.75 but it was kind of crapping out on top then i added a 115 jet because it was running rich and it is 65.60 so with the 115 jet it's definitely faster but was that because of the tillerson 225r cylinder head would it have been as fast with a Predator 224 cylinder head? But the Tillerson 225R cylinder head is definitely better for bigger cams and more spring pressure. So ultimately, I think I would take the Tillerson 225R cylinder head. 